Behold my cool star while I greet the funk with my Māori Run up rough enough on my bass guitar My skills allow me break the tension or the tackle Like Jonah Lomo on attack I paid my dues from here to Timbuktu Behold my cool star while I greet the funk with my Māori Behold my cool star while I greet the funk with my Māori Behold my cool star while I greet the funk with my Māori Being Māori, like, is... The shit. All the mana. All the mana for, for real. real. Māori gone gangster. I'd never heard Te Reo Māori be incorporated into raps. You know, I'm not Māori, but Behold My Cool Style was such an empowering song just for anyone brown. Oh, Behold My Cool Style. While I kick my funk with my Māori. Wanna rough enough, but my best guitar skills will know me. Robbed of our language, robbed of our land, robbed of our culture. This is why that song exists. To put Māori hip-hop on the map. To put Māori hip-hop on the map. <laughs> Kia ora tātou e te whānau, ko Dam Need of Taku Ingoa, ko Daniel John Haimona, Taku Ingoa. I want to wage war, I pledge allegiance to all iwi who cuts ties with lizard or people trying to deceive me by the way I manage to be the proud hori I am. I'm that quintessential 70s trouble kid. 10, 11 years old, I uh, fell in love and was uh, obsessed by hip hop. I wanted to be the best. Māori MC of that time. Because of this passion, you know, I met the right people. Learning about who I am, where I'm from, Māori history, all the, the whole deal. I remember being like, their name's Damn Native? Damn Native, the name, I wanted something to provoke reaction, what I'm all about. Feeling like that they were like maybe putting themselves down, like, oh, they. I don't think that they should call themselves natives. Just totally not understanding. So I had watched television in the 70s. When the old chap used to talk like this. There was this phrase, those damn natives. Damn natives, that sort of thing. See, the concept when there was zero hip hop, zero Māori hip hop, zero Aotearoa hip hop, the thing was we needed to virus. The idea was six or seven people that split up and went in seven different directions. That's how damn native for me came about. It was just a, a point in time where all these like-minded individuals linked up and wanted to do music. Yeah, damn that. It's basically a collective, collective of good friends who are all into music and into Māori. And there's heaps of us. DLT, Danny, Bennett, Paul Mane, Soli, Bryson Campbell, Hone H1, Kyoki, Fred Harrison, Native 612. These are my brothers. Kuru, Kaboom, they are friends. They're family to me. Ted Moana, my sister. Even though he's older than me, he's like my little brother. You know, I used to live with this lady. It wouldn't be uncommon for me to wake up and he'd be in my kitchen. We all vibed and were on the same frequency for that period of time. And then, we did some good shit. Total go to Mahi or Tainai Ra just about every day. It's the freak of fight funk, Hori on the loose. Had a mind set it off, Maori produce. Oh, my cool star, while I greet the funk with my mom. The incredible lyrical. Oh, my cool star was beginning of the next generation taking control of their own destiny. The lyricism that Danny Haimona dropped for that particular track was groundbreaking. Behold my cool star. Yeah, I didn't just wake up, man, and write Behold my cool star, man. You know, the, all the work towards it, all of the experiences towards it. This song is going to be Māori to the roof. Yes, intelligent, so intelligent, make way for the native of all back on your hill. I stopped the sun up, just like my legendary. Going references to um, Ruomoko, Maui, Springbok tour. Maui, to make the days longer, erupt, I run up like Ruomoko, king of volcanoes, commotion like it was the Springbok tour. He's calling himself a Hori in that. By the way, I managed to be the proud Hori I am. I, I took the negative con connotation of Hori. I've turned it around and, and, and uplifted with it. Which made me proud. Like, I started calling myself a whore after I heard Damn Native do it. Recorded Behold My Cool Style, we need a video for it. So I met with Danny and I know that he had um, some ideas. And my concept was the 1800s, that dapper look. So he talked about looking sharp like um, like people did in the early sort of turn of the century photographs. That era of, of when Māori were really going through a fucking mad transition, man. Crazy transition, you know, of robbed of our language, robbed of our land, robbed of our culture. I remember feeling like almost uh, intimidated by the māori dim. Still get goosebumps watching that. This video is so poignant because it shows us as Māori being proud as hell. You know, mad homegrown too, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. We didn't really have a lot of positive imagery 
I think, at that point in time. D A M N A T I V E, damn native, nineteen ninety seven, coke popper, driven rhymes uplifted. With with Maori people in particular, it wasn't so much a re reaction. It was more, you know, Maori's are funny people. You know, it was more of a look in the eye. You know, and they'll be like this. But if it's great, it'll be yeah, too much cows, too much. And I got a lot of too much cows from that video. Behold My Cool Style won two New Zealand Music Awards. Welcome to the Clear Music and Entertainment Awards. I took my mum. She cried the whole damn time, man. Check this out, most promising male vocalist. Cracks me up, because at the time, you know, I'm the most, I promise you anything. And of course, the video of the year. For the TDK Best Music Video Award. Behold My Cool Style, damn later. I was actually out the back getting the first one, most promising male vocalist. I was just fucking charging, man. It's gonna be a fucking heavy night tonight, I tell you. Next minute, Honey comes straight in the green room too, holding another one. I said, what the fuck's going on? What's happening? He said, bro. And we're like, bro. To win two New Zealand Music Awards, man. My mum's got one, my daughter's got one. I mean, you know, they're, they're never giving them back. I've tried to get them back, but they never giving them back. I don't want to have them back anyway. It was like I was on top of the maunga, man. I was on top of the maunga. A lot of people say uh, I still haven't come down off the maunga. And he came down to my city, to our youth centre, and one of the coolest things was like, he was like the most hoariest motherfucker there. Like bare feet, looked like he was there at the youth centre to have a Milo. And he came in and he was so down at earth. He was just like one of my homies. That was cool for me because I realised how fucking real Danny D actually is. It's a, a song that just keeps on giving because you know I'm a chronic alcoholic, I'm a chronic drug addict. And due to a 12-step programme, today in 2021, I'm six years sober. No alcohol or any mind-altering substance. The people I do help, be on my cool style, eh? Damn need of eh? They soon come to learn that I'm just a drunk drug addict like them. Backbone of the whole music and the whole cope up with driven rhymes uplifted. Those relationships were all upheld by women. Firstly, my mother. Champion mother, this one, champion. Then my baby mama and then my partner today. Now, if it wasn't for these women, I'd be dead a long time ago. Got 10 bucks, mum? <laughs> when I write, it's all positive Māori, you know, writing. Behold, it's like another uplifting Māori song. For us growing up in the hood with Māoris, you know, islands where we come from, you know, we were raised to be mad, sad and bad. Maybe not now, definitely not now. But when I was, we were ashamed to be who we were. But when he came out with Behold My Cool Style and his whole swag behind who Damn Native is, it made you proud to be brown. When I saw that, I was like, man, I can, I want to stand up for my people as well. And like seeing them do it, they're kind of like pioneers of activating that resilience. What he's done and, and what Damn Native was is irreplaceable. We're going to have a photo together so I can show my moko, my grandson, how it's cool I'll get down. It's a taonga I wear around my neck every day behold my cool style for the, you know, the absolute joy it's brought me. My main objective was to be the best Māori MC there is and for Māori hip-hop to ring in New Zealand. And I'm telling you, man, it's a blast. This is why I call myself the greatest Māori MC ever to do it to my family. They get sick of me, man, of my carry-on. But, you know, and I'm going to say it again. I'm still the greatest Māori MC ever to do it. Behold my cool style while I greet the funk with my Māori Wanna buffin' up on my bass guitar My skills allow me break the tension Or the tackle like Jonah Lomu on attack I paid my dues from here to Timbuktu and back Mad if I have my crew up in the house It makes the difference, it is my preference Refer to reference, crack the ill style With my part two to open up you In the meanwhile, I still pursue To inject you with my horriest intelligence so